Man, I am so excited for the new Thor movie. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty good? Uh, it looks way better than that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not that much of a Thor guy. What do you mean? He's like the best superhero. He's crazy strong. He controls lightning. He's got a cool hammer. And oh yeah, he's a literal god. He's a little too flashy for me. Of course he's flashy. He's the god of thunder. So you like flashy, huh? Like shiny objects? He's just a fun guy. He's always drinking and having a good time. And if he dies, he gets to go to Valhalla, where he'll get to party for eternity. It's the dream. So who's your favorite superhero, Mr. Judgy Person? Who's always judging other people's favorite superhero? Batman. Wait, Batman? He doesn't even have any superpowers. He doesn't need them. Uh, you kind of need superpowers to be a superhero. It's in the name. A superhero. I don't know, he's got the Batmobile and the Batcave. Okay, so is his superpower branding? Branding matters. Oh wait, I know what Batman's superpower is. He has perfected the Irish goodbye. So people are like, hey Batman, uh, thanks for saving the day, and he's gone. Didn't tell anyone. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite thing about him. He swoops in, beats up the bad guys, saves the day, then gets out of there. No chit chat, no photo ops. He gets back to the Batcave as soon as possible. It's the dream. Plus, he's got a secret identity. Don't you think he gets lonely? No, he's got Alfred and Robin and I guess Commissioner Gordon is like a work friend. That's a lot of people to interact with. Okay, that's depressing. Let me put this to you. Who would win in a fight, Batman or Thor? I guess that depends on how much prep time Batman has. No, we're talking about a literal god versus a buff Elon Musk. There is no way, no way that is even close. Thor has taken on the power of an entire star. I think he can handle the bat signal. But you forgot about one thing. Oh yeah, what's that? Okay. All right, I'll give that to you. He didn't even say goodbye.